welcome back to One, Two, Three, Read. Today we're going to read some books about robots. But before we read books about robots, let's sing our opening song. Do you remember Bread and Butter, Marmalade and Jam? So you sound it out. Ready on your, your, your thighs? You want to uh, tap along to the beat. So you ready? It goes like this. Bread and Butter, Marmalade and Jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Can you say hello really quiet? Whisper it. Job. So what's the opposite of quiet? The opposite of quiet is really loud, right? So let's do it again. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Can you say hello? Hello. Good job. Let's try as slow as we can. Can you say it really slow? Let's try it again. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Ready? Hello. Good job. So what's the opposite of slow? The opposite of slow is fast, right? So let's say it really fast. Ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Ready? Hello. Good job. All right. Next, let's say it is high. Can you say it in a really high-pitched voice like Mickey Mouse? Hi. Hello. So let's try it again. Ready? Bread and butter. Marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Ready? Hello. Good job. What's the opposite of high? Do you know what the opposite of high is? The opposite of high is low, right? So let's say it in a low, deep voice. Ready? Bread and butter. Marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Can you say it real deep voice? Hello. Good job. All right. So let's now say it as nice as we can. Okay. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as nice as we can say hello. Good job. All right, so let's start reading our books about robots. But before that, I want to say what letter does the word robot start with? It makes the r, r sound. Do you know what letter that is? It's the letter, let's see, letter R. So that's our letter for today. Can you think of any other words that start with the letter R? Hmm, let's see. What animal, you might see it at the zoo, it's usually a gray, it has a big horn off of its nose or off of its um, forehead, I think it is. <laughs> Do you know what animal that is? It starts with the R, it's r rhino or rhinoceros, right? A rhinoceros. Okay, so that's one word that starts with the R. Can you think of any other animals or any other word that starts with the letter R? I know another animal. There's another animal that bounces, it hops. Sometimes it's called a bunny, but do you know what the other word for it is? It's a rabbit, right? So rabbit and rhino start with R. Can you think of any other words that start with the letter R? Let's see. Hmm. Sometimes you might see cars do this. They go really fast and they go around and around in a circle. Sometimes they do what? They race, right? Race. They race around. Or what might you do if you're having a race on foot? You might do what that starts with the letter R? You might run, right? So those are some good R words. We had four today. We had rhino or rhinoceros. We had rabbit. And we had race and run. So those are good uh, words that start with the letter R. So let's start our story, our one, two, three, read story time with our um, first story song. All right, let's sing Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. Are you ready? So you put your arms up like this and it goes, Zoom, 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 we're going to the loo. Zoom, 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 we're going to the loo. If you'd like to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, and then we blast If I Had a Robot by Dan Yaccarino. Mom said, 
You can't leave the dinner table until you finish your vegetables. Boy, I hate vegetables. I wish someone else would eat them for me. I bet if I had a robot, he would eat those vegetables at my command. Yes siree, with just the flick of a switch, he'd eat all my lima beans, cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts, yuck. Do you like Brussels sprouts, lima beans, cauliflower? I like uh, cauliflower, but I don't know about the others. I could get him to take my bath. Should a robot take a bath? Probably not, it might sh give him a short circuit. And piano lessons too. Oh boy. Boy, he could do everything I don't want to do. What's he doing up there? Looks like maybe his homework. Whoops. Cleaning down here. Shoveling snow and feeding the dog. Why, he could even kiss my Aunt Louise and go to school so I don't have to. I think your classmates might know if you're a robot showed up instead of you. No hot shot could ever hit a home run when they're in left field. And those kids wouldn't dare pick on me if I had a robot. Gee, I'd be king of the playground. Kind of like a bodyguard, huh? Hey, with my robot, I could be king of the whole world. Uh-oh. Wait, I could be master of the entire universe. And Oh, Phil, my mom called. Whoever eats their vegetables gets chocolate cake for dessert. Does he want to eat his vegetables now, you think? Like I always say, if you want something done right, you've got to do it yourself. So he wanted that chocolate cake, didn't he? Look at how big that piece of cake is. Would you like that cake? Oh, and there he ate it all. And that's the end of If I Had a Robot. Could you imagine if you had a robot? What would you make your robot do? Would he do lots of things that you don't like to do? That's If I Had a Robot. All right, now we're gonna sing a song, kind of like it's to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It, but we're gonna pretend we're a robot and we're gonna have all of our robot parts. So it's called If You're a Robot and You Know It. So this is how it goes, are you ready? If you're a robot and, and, and you know it, clank your coils. Pretend like your hands are your coils. If you're a robot and you know it, clank your coils. If you're a robot and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a robot and you know it, clank your coils. And let's pretend like our feet are our gears, ready? So if you're a robot and you know it, clank, clank your gears. If you're a robot and you know it, clank your gears. If you're a robot and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're a robot and you know it, clunk your gears. So let's pretend we have buttons on us, so let's press your buttons, ready? So if you're a robot and you know it, press your buttons, beep, beep. If you're a robot and you know it, press your buttons, beep, beep. If you're a robot and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're a robot and you know it, press your buttons, beep, beep. Good job. Okay, next we're gonna build a robot by all, using all these matching parts. So as you can see up here, we've got little um, different heads for the robots, different arms and legs, and the middle body parts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one robot together all by its colors. So let's start with this one here. We have the red head of the robot. So what, not, what do we need right here? Probably the body. Do you see the red body? Let's see, it's not this one. That's, what color is that? Green, and there's yellow, there's blue, there's red. So let's put the red underneath him there. There's his body. Okay, let's see, now he probably needs some arms. So does this look like a yellow or a red arm? 
No, that's green. That's the yellow arm. How about this one? That looks like an arm, so let's put the arm on there. Okay, we need another arm. So do you see another arm? Let's see. Let's go this way. Oh, there it is. There's their other red arm. So let's put that here. Okay, now what does he need? He needs feet, right? So let's see. Do you see any more red parts? Let's see. I see one here. Do you see that one? So let's put that one there. Let's move these down a little bit. Do you see any more red legs or red feet? How about here? Yeah, there's his other leg. So there we built one red robot. Okay, let's see. Let's start with this next piece. This looks like the body for the what color robot? The green robot. So let's find the green robot's head. Do you see the head for the green robot? Is it this one? No, what color is that? That's yellow, right? Is it that one? No, that's blue. How about this one? Yeah, that's the green robot's head, so let's put his head there. Now what does he need? He needs some arms, right? So I think this is a green arm. Let's put that on him there. Okay, do we see another one that looks just like that? Another arm? Is it this one? No. Do you see it? I see it. It's right here, so let's put that arm on. Let's put it like that. And now what does he need? Does he need feet? Yeah, he needs some feet. So let's see, do we see any green feet? Oh, there's one, so there's one leg and foot. Let's see if we can find some more. Let's see, there it is, right. There's the other leg, so that green robot is built. Now we have this piece right here. What is? What color is that? That's yellow, do you see the yellow body anywhere? It's right here, so let's build the yellow robot next. Do, do you think this is his arm or his foot? I think it's his foot, so let's put it there on the bottom. I'm gonna find his other foot. Do you see his other foot? I see it it's right here. Yeah, there's the matching part. Let's put it there. Now what does he need? How about we go up? We need his arms, right? Let's try his arms. There's one, there's an arm. Let's put it over here. And you see the other arm? Right down here, good job. So let's put that one on. Well, let's see, we need one more thing. What else do we need to make our yellow robot complete? We need his head, don't we? Do you see the yellow head? I see it right here. So let's put the yellow head on the robot. robot. There we have three robots. We have a red robot a green robot, and a yellow robot. What other colors do we have left? We have the blue robot. Do you see his head? Is that his head? No. How about that? Is that his head? No. Is that his head? Nope. I see it. it's right here. See, there's his head. So let's do his head. Which one is his body part, his middle part? How about this one? Yeah, that's his middle. Let's see, now what does he need? How about some arms? So let's give him an arm. I think this is an arm. Good job. Do you see the other arm? Right there, there's his arm, his other arm. Let's put that on this side. And what is left? His feet or his legs, yeah. So let's put this one go that way. And the last piece, there we go, we have how many robots do we have? Let's count them. One, two, three, four robots. And what colors are they? Red, green, yellow, and blue. So that's building a robot with robot parts. All right, let's do our second story song, Put Your Arms Up High. Do you remember how that song goes? It goes like this. Put your arms up high, put your arms down low. Put your arms in the middle and wiggle just so. Put your elbows in the front, put your elbows in the back. Put your elbows to the side and quack, quack, quack. Good job. Big Bot, Small Bot, a book of robot opposites by Mark Rosenthal.
Bear's big, so he's big, isn't he? And small. See the tiny robot inside him? Let's see what's next. Quiet. Look, he's being very quiet. He's getting close to him to hear him. And loud. Look at his open and wide mouth to just yell at him, huh? Happy. Look, he's happy because why? He has ice cream. And sad. Oh, he's sad because why? He lost his ice cream. He would be sad too, I think. Dark. It's dark. And look at that. Light. It's like he's a lamp, huh? Full. What does it look like? It almost looks like he's a bird cage, doesn't it? And empty. Look, they all flew out. Inside. Is he inside the house? And outside is a big robot. How did he fit in there? Maybe he's scrunched down. Wet. And dry. Oh, he's got an umbrella. Front. Oh, looks like our book, doesn't it? Front of the book. And back. Oh, look at that. He's reading it to everyone. And that's the end. Look at all the robots. The end of Big Bot, Small Bot. Okay, now we're gonna sing a song called I'm a Little Robot. And it's just like the song I'm a Little Teapot, but we're gonna be a little robot. So this is how it goes. It goes, I'm a little robot, short and strong. Here are my handles, just turn me on. It's pretty like put, turning your power button on. When I get all warmed up, watch me go. Sometimes fast, roll your arms really fast. Can you do it really fast? And sometimes slow, go really slow. Let's try that one again. Are you ready? I'm a little robot, short and strong. Here are my handles. Just turn me on. Push your button. When I get all warmed up, watch me go. Sometimes fast, go fast, fast, fast. And sometimes slow, go slow. Good job. We're going to play a little game up here called Where is Robot? So I've got this little robot, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide him. I'm going to tell you to close your eyes, and then I'm going to hide him behind one of the gears, and then we'll play a little game to find out where he is. Okay, so everybody hide your eyes. Ready? Hide your eyes. Oops. Okay, open your eyes. Okay, so robot, robot, we know you're here. Are you behind the, which color should I pick? How about green? Are you behind the green gear? Nope, not there. Robot, robot, we know you're here. Are you behind the, which color? How about purple? Purple gear, nope, not there. Let's try another one. Robot, robot, we know you're here. Are you behind, let's try yellow. The yellow gear, no. Okay, let's try again. Robot, robot, we know you're here. Are you behind? Should we try orange? The orange gear, no, nope, not there. Robot, robot, we know you're here. Are you behind? Let's try red. The red gear, no, nope, not there. There's only one, whoops. There's only one gear left. Where is it then? Robot, robot, we know you're here. Are you behind the blue gear? Oh, yep, there it is. All right, so let's see. Let's hide our eyes again. Ready? Hide your eyes. Let's see if I can hide them to fool you. Oops. Uh -oh. Okay. Okay, let's try again. Robot, robot, we know you're here. Are you behind? Let's try blue. Nope, not there. Robot, robot, we know you're here. Are you behind the yellow gear? 
No, not yellow. Robot, robot, we know you're here. Are you behind? What color should we try next? Okay, those are yellow ones. Are you behind? Let's try red. The red gear? No, not there. Robot, robot, we know you're here. What color should I try? Are you behind? Let's try purple. The purple gear? Oh, there he is. Yep, there's our robot. So let's try one more time. So everybody hide your eyes, hide your eyes. I'm gonna hide them, I'm gonna hide them really good this time. Let's see if I can get them so it's hidden really well. Hmm, maybe this will give you a clue. Robot, robot, we know you're here. Are you behind the, which one do you think it is? Let's try orange. The orange gear, nope. Robot, robot, we know you're here. Are you behind, which one do you think it is? Do you think it's yellow? Nope, not yellow. Robot, robot, we know you're here. Are you behind, do you think it's red? Nope, not red. Let's see, do you see any clues that might tell us where it is? I see a clue, do you see a clue right here? What's that? That's his antenna, do you think he's there? Robot, robot, we know you're here. Are you behind the green gear? There he is, good job. <laughs> so that was our game, robot, robot, we know you're here. Where is robot? All right, we're gonna do our banana song. So make a big, long banana, and then we peel bananas. Peel, peel bananas. Peel bananas. Peel, peel bananas. Then we chop bananas. Chop, chop bananas. Chop bananas. Chop, chop bananas. Then we mash bananas. Mash, mash bananas. Mash bananas. Mash, mash bananas. Then we eat bananas. Eat, eat bananas. Eat bananas. Eat, eat bananas. Then you remember what we do? We get down low and we go bananas. Good job. Beep, beep, go to sleep. Written by Todd Tarpley, illustrated by John Rocco. Look at that. Looks like he's in his pajamas and he's chasing the robots. Three little robots, time for bed. Time to dim your infrared. Brush your rotors round and round. What is what is he brushing? Just like we brush at night. Look, he's like his teeth, right? Clean your shields. Look at that. He's making a mess with the toilet paper. And he's getting water all over, isn't he? And power down. He's powering down. He's got to drag him to bed. And he's carrying that one on his back, isn't he? Quiet at last. Not a peep. Three little robots. One, two, three. Three little robots are... Beep, beep. Uh-oh. Are they asleep? Is something wrong? I need my coil. My sensor aches. I want more oil. Not ready for bed yet, are they? Better now than rest your head. Three little robots back to bed. Quiet at last, not a peep. Three little robots are, do you think they're asleep now? Let's see. Beep, beep. Uh-oh, not yet. What do they want now, huh? What is it now? I need a light, like a nightlight. My fan belt's loose. My bolt is too tight. Oh no. Quiet at last, not a peep. Three little robots are, do you think they're finally asleep? Let's see. Beep, beep, 
Robots, are you still awake? Engines off, for goodness sake. No more beeping, no more talking, no more squeaking, no more squawking, no more blipping, blinking, boinking, winking, whirring, squinking, oinking. Oinking? Go to sleep. Quiet at last, not a peep. Three little robots are sleeping for sleep now. Beep, beep, what now? You need what? Uh-oh, he's getting frustrated, isn't he? He wants to go to sleep. Oh, a bedtime story. Somewhere there are robots beeping, buzzing, bouncing, squawking, squeaking, blipping, bopping, blinking, boinking, winking, whirring, even oinking. But not these robots snuggled deep. They're fine. They finally put their boy to sleep. They had to get the boy to sleep. And that's the end of Beep, Beep, Go to Sleep. This is a little magnetic story up on the board called Five Little Robots. So this is how it goes. Five little robots, can you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five. Five little robots in the toy shop, small and shiny with antenna on top. Along came a kid with a dollar one day who bought the, what color is that one? The blue colored robot and took it away. How many do we have left? One, two, three, four. Four little robots in the toy shop, small and shiny with antenna on top. Along came a kid with a dollar one day who bought the, what color is this one? Purple one and took it away. How many are left? One, two, three. Three little robots in the toy shop, small and shiny with antenna on top. Along came a kid with a dollar one day who bought the, what color is that? Orange, he bought the orange robot and took it away. How many do we have left? One, two. Two little robots in the toy shop, small and shiny with antenna on top. Along came a kid with a dollar one day who bought the, what color is that? Red, he bought the red robot and took it away. How many robots are left? Just one. One little robot in the toy shop, small and shiny with antenna on top. Along came a, a kid with a dollar one day who bought the, what color? The green robot and took it away. So how many robots do we have left? We have zero, great. So let's bring our robots back. Can you help me count them again? One, two, three, four, five. Good job. It's time to say goodbye. And unfortunately, this is our last one, two, three read for the winter. But we will be back in the spring sometime in either late March or early April to start our spring story times and one, two, three read. So keep an eye out for that on our Facebook page, our website, or, or our YouTube page. So but let's do our um, goodbye for today though. Do you remember how we say goodbye? We say it like this, remember? See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon. Out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. And say toodaloo, kangaroo. Adios, hippos. Better shake, rattlesnake. Gotta go, buffalo. Be sweet, parakeet. Got a truck, baby duck. Adieu, cockatoo. Got a scat, kitty cat. Hit the trail, tiny snail. Gonna scram, little lamb.
can't stay, blue jay. Have to bail, big blue whale. And bye for now, big brown cow. So we'll see you next time in the spring. Have a good rest of your winter. Bye-bye.